The name of this tutorial is Blender 2.49b Text Objects Tutorial. Blender's text object lets you add text to your scene. The text object is actually a type of curve object. Initially, editing text might seem a bit confusing, but like most things in Blender, it seems logical enough when you get used to it. At some point, say when you're adding the credits to your movie, you want to use text objects. The purpose of this tutorial is to help you become comfortable with Blender's text object, showing you how to place text precisely. I use Blender 2.49b for this tutorial. So let's start up Blender and delete the default cube. To add text, press space add text. You're in object mode. Like other Blender objects, you can rotate, scale, and grab the text object. This can produce dramatic uh, effects like floating text in 3D space. To change the text, press tab and go into edit mode. The text changes to a gray color. To move the cursor, you use the arrow keys on the typewriter keypad, not the arrow keys on the numeric keypad. Pressing left arrow moves the cursor back one character. Pressing right arrow moves the cursor forward one character. The home key gets you to the beginning of the text and the end key gets you to the end of the text. You can change the text, which by default is the word text. The backspace key erases a character and moves the cursor backwards one character. I'll delete the word text one character at a time and type in my name, Ira Krakow. You can add special characters, which are accessed from the CHAR, the char tab. Alt-G, for example, adds the degree symbol. If your keyboard supports another language, you can also add characters in that language by pressing the Unicode button and selecting your language. Blender fully supports international characters. The text object has an internal clipboard, which works slightly different from the Windows clipboard. I'll copy my first name to the text clipboard or buffer. First, press the home key to get to the beginning of the text. Then hold down the shift key and press the right arrow key on the typewriter. The I is highlighted in black, indicating that it's part of the selection. Continue to hold the shift key and press the right arrow again. Now the R is highlighted as well. Pressing the shift key and the right arrow key again, and now my whole name is highlighted. To copy the text Ira, press Control C. Press the end key to move to the end of the text, and to paste my name, press Control V. You can apply special effects to part of the text selection. Select Crack Out by holding the Shift key and pressing the arrow keys until my name is selected. And to underline just that part of the text, press the U button or press Control U. Control Left Arrow moves the cursor back to the beginning of the previous word. Control right arrow moves the cursor forward to the beginning of the next word. What's not immediately apparent is that Blender te places text in frames. Initially, when I saw the left, center, right, and justify buttons, I was confused because I did not see any reference to a line length. Think of a frame as like a container. Initially, the frame is not visible because its width and height are zero, and the text does not word wrap. This can get messy if you enter a lot of text. Blender allows up to 50,000 characters in a text object, but you'll be hard pressed to see all of them if you just scroll right. You can insert text from a file. To illustrate that, I created a file with the text Hello World in it. I position the cursor at the end of the text and click Insert File. Then navigate to the file, press Enter, and the text is inserted. To set a frame, use the width and height settings. The settings are in Blender units, not characters. To see the frame, set the width and or height to a number greater than zero. Go to the width setting and set it to 10. You now see a horizontal line of 10 Blender units display. Now the buttons that confused me initially make sense. Click on the left button and the text is left aligned. Clicking on the right button makes the text right aligned. 
Clicking on the center button makes the text centered. If you click the flush button, the text is spread out along the width of the line. The two upper button converts the text to uppercase, and pressing the two upper button again converts the text back to its original case. Let's see how height works. Go to the height setting and set it to 3. Press the left button to left align the text. Now start typing. When the text overflows the line, it goes to the next line. However, as you type more text, eventually the text overflows the box. We can control where the overflow text goes by inserting another frame. Note that the second frame overlaps the first frame. However, by adjusting the X and Y offset, you can control where the second part of the text displays. Set the X to 1 and the Y to negative 3 and you can see that the text is positioned below the previous text. Each text area controlled by its frame. Two column text is easy. Set X to 11. Move it out over the beginning of the second column and set Y to 0. You can adjust the width and the height of the second frame as well, giving you precise control over the column layout. The default font is a built-in 11 point font. You can change the font to another font that's on your computer by going to the font panel and clicking on the load button. Navigate to the directory containing the fonts. On my Windows Vista computer, the fonts are located in C backslash Windows backslash fonts directory. After you navigate to the directory, the available fonts are prefixed with a blue dot. You can select the font and click on the select font button. If the font supports it, you can turn on italics by pressing Ctrl-I or pressing the I button next to the font. You can turn on bold by pressing Ctrl-B or pressing the B button next to the font. Or you can turn on underscore by pressing Ctrl-U or pressing the U button next to the font. A text object has no depth. To give it depth, in the Curve and Surfaces panel, give it an extrude value greater than zero. You can also bevel the edges by select setting the bevel size to a number greater than zero. Tab out of object mode and you can see the depth and the bevel. You can convert a font to a curve or a mesh. To do this, press Alt-C and select either the curve or the mesh option. You can have different parts of the text have different colors. To illustrate this, load the default scene by going to the file menu and selecting load factory settings. Add a text object, space add text. Press tab to go into edit mode. Delete the default text and add the text Ira was here. Let's make Ira red, was green, and here blue. To do this, go to the edit buttons, F9, and add three material slots by pressing the new button in the links and materials panels three times. Click the left arrow two times to get to the first material. Press the shading buttons and click Add New to add a material and make it red. Go back to the Edit buttons, F9, and click Assign. The entire text turns red. Now highlight the word Was. Select the second material. Press the shading buttons, F5, then Add New to add a new material and make it green. Go back to the Edit buttons, F9, and click Assign. Now the word was is green. Highlight the word here by pressing the right arrow keys and highlighting each letter, holding the shift key to add to the selection as you press the right arrow key. Select the third material slot, go to the shading buttons, press add new and make this material blue. Now Ira is red, was is green, and here is blue. A neat feature of a text object is that it can be wrapped to follow a curve. Tab out of edit mode. Locate the 3D cursor in another part of the scene. Add a Bezier circle. Space, add, curve, Bezier circle. Scale the circle up three times its size. Uh, S3 and enter. The circle is called curve circle. Select the text object. In the curve and surfaces panel, find the text on curve area. In that area, enter curve circle. You have to enter it exactly the name of the Bezier circle. The text is now rounded according to the shape of the circle. If you select that circle and scale it, the text scales accordingly. Happy blending!